I'm in Leamington, Ontario, and behind me is a state-of-the-art mushroom farm owned by the biggest producer of fresh organic mushrooms in the world. And they grow them 12 months a year. Will Peters is the man responsible for mushroom growth and cultivation here at Highline Mushrooms. Its products are found in supermarkets from coast to coast in Canada and in the United States. We are now in, what, the largest organic mushroom farm in North America? That is right. Highline was started back in 1961 by our, the late Dr. Murray O'Neill, and so we've gradually grown to be one of the largest growers in the world. Mushrooms grow in substrate. So the main ingredients in substrate is you have your straw, gypsum, and a lot of water. From there, we transfer it into a conditioned tunnel where we pasteurize it, we make it selective to mushrooms. After that, we add the spawn, which is the seed, and it's allowed us to shorten our growth cycle, which ultimately eliminated the need for us to use pesticides and fungicide. Um, so it's organic? It is. Uh, wow. We were the first in North America to succeed. So it's really a local, fresh produce? Yes. The advantage to mushrooms, it's year-round, um, not like the field crops. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 365 days a year. So from the time that we transfer it into a growing room until we're physically harvesting mushrooms, it's 14 to 16 days. It's quite quick, eh? It's a very quick cycle. Um, the whole growing process in the growing room, it's only 28 days from the time that we fill a room until the two crops are done. You could take a chair and watch the show. You almost could. <laughs> <laughs> Do you harvest them one by one? How does it work? We do what we call continuous harvesting. So okay. a room like this uh, will go over multiple times through the course of the day. We'll go over it four to five times. Four to five times, the same room? The same room. Once the crop is done, we sell the compost back to the local farmers and oh. fertilizer companies. Um, we're essentially an enormous recycling facility because everything uh, gets reused. Um, anything from the substrate that we sell back to the stems that get cut off the mushrooms, which goes back into our composting. Nothing's lost. Nothing. It's the perfect business. It is. We take a lot of pride in the work that we do and in the workforce that we have here. Well, thanks a lot, Will. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Canada produces, on average, 200 million pounds of fresh mushrooms every year. 80 million pounds of that crosses the U.S. border. Our country is one of the biggest exporters of fresh mushrooms in the world, and that's why we are the best.